Hi everyone. I I have my camera turned the other way because again, I can't switch back and forth. Uh, I'm gonna try a new way. I have this little ring thing on the back that I can uh, move around. Well, to hold the phone differently. So um, I'm actually headed to. It's supposed to be a community business event and sidewalk sales. I'm going to be doing some new things with the channel because of the situation we're in. Uh, I have to put like my main purpose. Not, well, my periphery purposes are still the same. Sustainability, um, the environment, things like that, housing. But how I would move about that is changing. Hopefully you can see me. Um, so I am going to be doing some different things that I've been planning to do either way. Uh, they just moved into a different position. So I'm going to turn my phone around so you guys can see what's going on in the community. I was expecting like a whole bunch of people to be on the sidewalk selling stuff, but we'll see what happens. Jacqueline, if I didn't say, it's JW Van Minimal. My goal was to take a road trip for about a year in a van, live in it, go around talking about sustainability, saving the environment, uh, reuse, recycle, and housing situations. Uh, all of those things are still very important, but the way we approach them has to change. So we'll talk about that in the future. But I'm going to be doing a little bit more um, other things to address those issues while staying in place. So I turned the phone around. Uh, and we had gotten some information from our neighborhood association around this business development support thingy. And there was supposed to be all these businesses on the street because we can't do a lot of stuff indoors. Uh, the weather is beautiful. Lots of times when we do an outdoor thing in our community here in Wisconsin, it's either raining or snowing. Even though it could be spring, late spring, summer, the weather is always weird. Like it's raining or uh, cold, even in the summer. Today is hot. It's kind of humid, actually. Maybe in the 80s, supposed to get to get to the 80s, but it's already humid, a little uncomfortable. Uh, one of the things I hope to do, right over there is our park, beautiful. And I'm hoping we could have like a flea market thing over there. There's like a senior center there. I don't think they're doing anything at the senior center, primarily because of um, what's happening in our country and the world. So we used to have a uh, farmer's market there, like on a, it was either weekly or monthly, and it was okay. But right in that building right there, if you can see it. So along this stretch between where I live and once we go over the bridge, there's not really a lot of businesses. As you can see, the park is there. And there's houses, pretty much, uh, but there's a lot of businesses as we cross the bridge. And I'm also going on my walk, so it'll take me another three minutes or so to get to the bridge and over it. And then from there, we would have a better view if there's any businesses doing outdoor sales now we're on the lower end of the block where we're going east more east and further west there is a ton more businesses there and it's going towards a like a surrounding I have my fingers up in air quotes suburb that's right there more affluent suburb so there's a few more businesses further west of us and uh, I expect there to be businesses outdoors so my plan is 
that I would walk the neighborhood. So, so far as you can see, and I can see, there's nothing going on because it's mostly houses. Here's my neighbor. He is like in charge of the uh, community, not in charge of community garden, but he's like the steward of the community garden. So he has a huge garden in his yard. And this is an interesting house. Okay. But as you can see, they're houses, not businesses. And the goal is that there would be like a ton of businesses on the street selling their wares from 8 to 4. <laughs> 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Now, after this, I do have another place to go that I might film, video. Um, so, there's our community garden. Let me see if I can make it bigger. You guys have been there with me before. I'm not going in there today. Well, yeah, I'm not going in there today. I was there the other day. I picked a couple of beautifully ripe tomatoes, which were delicious. And I did have a cantaloupe plant, and it actually produced a cantaloupe. Oh, what's that? How weird is that? Um, there's so much stuff underground going on in our, in our country related to stuff. We don't be knowing what's going on. So anyway, um, I live by the police department, not too far at least. So, um, I had a cantaloupe that grew in my garden. It was beautiful. I think I picked it too early because I was paranoid about some animal coming in there and chewing on it. So, when I picked it, though, I, I ate a piece of it and it felt like it needed to be more ripened. But it was pretty much the same size it was uh two weeks ago when i got it off the dirt like the ground part and cushioned it with some leaves so that it wouldn't get like eaten up by bugs and stuff so i am learning a lot about farming <laughs> even though it's a small garden none of my all of the inf all of the uh stuff i put into it sorry for the wind it didn't, it didn't work. I was happy to see my cantaloupe. And I produced one. Now, I don't know if any other flowers are going to grow or not. Or uh, fruit are going to grow. I hope so, but I didn't see any buds or anything. And then my tomato plants, even though they're producing, they're not that great. So I did pick a couple of beautiful, beautifully ripe tomatoes oh, somebody is doing there that's nice people are doing their exercise which I'm jealous of because I should be doing that and they got a little kid with them too <laughs> practicing running and doing exercise that's cool the reason I'm walking down here is to get my exercise in I walk in well we went over the bridge, y'all. And uh, here's another park. It's not a park. It's a tennis court. Uh, down the street from me. And then the school district is... There's a park. Well, tennis court right here. Like a little baseball field. Next. And then there's the school district. So, first and foremost, excuse the shaking. I'll be getting a camera soon, even though that may or may not help. Because if I'm walking, I'm walking. Um, so, got the tomatoes picked. I had three or four of them and one pepper. My pepper plant produced two peppers. Somebody took one because when I went to check on my garden, I only had one there. So, we'll see if it produced any more. I doubt it. My tomato plants are not bearing a lot of tomato leaf fruit they're not beefsteak tomatoes either they're 
just regular size, but they're very delicious, I have to say. Those tomatoes are something delicious. Um, you could just eat them like a, even though a tomato well, technically is a fruit, you could just eat it like a fruit. Put some salt on it. It was delicious and sweet. Never had such a delicious tomato in a long time. Not the ones I buy from the store, at least. Um, I had some beans planted. Those didn't work. Had some tomatillos, which started out beautiful. I'm like, man, I'm going to have so many tomatillos. It won't be funny. So I go back two or three days later. My tomatillo plant is just sick, like dying. So I'm like, let me water it. It rained, all that good stuff. I'm like, it just needs water. Nope, it's it's a goner. Uh, my little grandson, his little plot didn't grow. I'm like, what kind of farmer am I? Anyway, that's what's going on with my garden. I uh, had to pull up my beautiful cabbage, kale, and spinach because, well, the spinach just didn't do right. I think I planted this stuff too late, you guys. That's what I read. Um, my kale and my cabbage was devoured by some more animals and insects. So I could tell where the insects, like those caterpillars, when you see them chopping up on your plants. So they did some damage. And then uh, something else was eating my greens. Because you guys seen pictures of my greens. They were like on their way to be something special. And uh, these animals just took, took them. Anyway, my, the guy who I just showed you, my neighbor, has a book in the garden. And it says, oh, this is how you can stop pests, you know, naturally. So, and concoction he told me about was to put flour cayenne pepper and I said let me take it one step further and let me put some hot pepper flakes also in this mixture and then you're supposed to toss it on your greens and it's supposed to the little bugs that eat is supposed to take part in it and it just explode and then if it's like a rodent of some sort they're supposed to walk in it and lick their feet or something and and I don't know if animals have taste buds, but this is what I'm being told. And they lick their feet or whatever. And then the hot pepper is to irritate their tongue and all that great stuff. I'm like, okay, cool. So I put the concoction together, added a couple of extra pepper flakes, put the crap on my greens. Of course, it was going to rain two, three, two or three days later. I'm like, that's okay. I'll go back over and redo it. I couldn't even do that. Why not? Because... When I went back the next day or two to check on it, my greens, kale, green cabbage, purple cabbage, and, and the spinach, but not so much because they were already just jacked up. They were devoured like, like nothing I've ever seen before. It was like whatever I put on those plants to keep away the pest, it's, it seemed like it seasoned it. It made them more desirable for some animal. And I believe it was a bigger animal. Could have been a deer. Because my fence was a little wonky. And my plants were chewed to the nub. Can you believe that? Chewed to the nub. I'm like, what the heck going on? So instead of me deterring the pests, I basically gave them fodder to chomped on it even more like they were they were like wow this is delicious so unfortunately I pulled up all of my uh, yesterday I think it was I pulled up all of my greens and cabbage I left one cabbage there just for posterity hopefully it'll grow I left the one piece of cabbage but all my greens and stuff are out of the plot my to the tomatoes are still standing. Of course, I left the pepper plant, see if it'll produce anything. And I'm talking about my main plot. I will, um, after that, put some more soil, topsoil, and some manure. And I will um, plant some uh, uh, collard greens. I heard you can do that, like this time of year. And then they will be producing 
a, a bounty, you know, when it starts to get a little frost. Which here, it's supposed to be November, but in reality, it's like October. So, we will be replanting those collard greens, and we're going to see what happens. And I, the goal is to plant from seed so that they germinate while the weather is warm. And then as the weather gets cooler, that is when they can deal with the weather better. Uh, like I said, I was told I planted a little bit late in the season, but the season was weird. Um, so, oh, by the way, this is our school district headquarters. School board is what it's called. Um, and then there, I, we already passed back there. There's another building. You can see sort of the, um, the lighter colored building. That's the uh, teachers association, the teachers union building. Uh, there's the sign company. I called them once to make a really lucrative sign and they were so old school nothing against old school but you see the way that signs painted that's how they make their signs they don't do anything technologically uh that's technologically involved in creating their signs i don't know if that's good or bad but they couldn't meet my needs so for me at that time it was not great um i might walk on the other side of the street on my way back because now that i'm coming to the area where there's more businesses maybe they'll come out later but it's already noon should have started at eight we have some wonderful shops in the area uh i might get back over here later today I'm not sure yoga guy i have not checked that out because they were on the east side of town so some new stores all cbd store that's new um the soup place is there sorry uh, I don't know why they're not open, though. That's weird. Soup place is not open. So, um, I'm going to end my journey because we're at whew, we're at 17 minutes. I hope you guys stay with me on this. Um, this is a store with some beautiful things in it right here. I'm going to end it here. And then I will pick it back up maybe um, tomorrow or something like that. So, Jacqueline, J.W. Van Minimal, thank you for joining me. Appreciate it. Subscribe, share, like, comment.